The EU and US thought they had everything under control, but they never saw this coming. Today, we're going to break down how a few political moves have unexpectedly shaken up the global economy. We'll explore how sanctions that were supposed to corner certain countries are now fueling a shift in power, and why gold is suddenly the star of the show. Stick with me, and I'll take you through how these twists and turns aren't just shaking things up. They're setting the stage for a whole new financial era. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates, so you don't want to miss out. All right, let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the staggering U.S. national debt. It has officially crossed the jaw-dropping mark of $35 trillion. That's right, $35 trillion. To put that in perspective, it's like a mountain of debt that keeps growing taller every day. Now, China, once a staunch supporter of U.S. bonds, has been quietly pulling back. In fact, they've slashed their investments by about $113 billion just in the first half of 2023. This isn't just a minor adjustment. It signals a serious loss of confidence in the U.S. dollar and its stability. So, what's the big deal? Well, when a major player like China starts to back away, it raises eyebrows. This shift isn't just about numbers. It reflects a growing sentiment among nations that the dollar might not be the safe bet it once was. With the U.S. government piling on debt, it's no wonder other countries are looking for alternatives. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of sanctions. After Russia's actions in Ukraine, the EU and U.S. slapped heavy sanctions on the country, thinking they'd cripple its economy. But guess what? Instead of isolating Russia, these sanctions have pushed it to pivot towards Asia and the Middle East, redirecting its gold supplies to countries that are more than happy to trade without the dollar. Before the sanctions, Russia was a major supplier of gold to Western markets. Now, with the West banning Russian gold imports, countries like China and India are stepping in. They're not just buying gold, they're stockpiling it. This shift has sent ripples through the global market, contributing to a decline in the dollar's dominance. As countries turn their backs on the dollar, the landscape of international trade is evolving rapidly. Speaking of gold, let's chat about why it's shining brighter than ever. Gold has always been seen as a safe haven, but lately it's taken center stage. As of August 2024, the price of gold skyrocketed to over $2,550 per troy ounce, marking a record high. That's about a 20% increase just in 2023. Why the sudden interest? Well, there are a few reasons. First, the Federal Reserve is hinting at potential interest rate cuts. With inflation showing signs of slowing down and unemployment creeping up, many are betting on a rate cut as soon as September. Analysts like Ole Hansen from Saxo Bank have pointed out that gold has been on an uninterrupted rally since last October. It's like investors are flocking to gold as a safety net amid all the uncertainty. And let's not forget geopolitical risks. Ongoing conflicts, particularly in Ukraine and the Middle East, have people scrambling for stability. Countries are increasing their gold reserves and consumer demand is soaring, especially in China, where the economy is facing its own set of challenges. It's a perfect storm that's making gold the go-to asset for many. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These countries are not just sitting back. They're actively working to reduce their reliance on the US dollar. With the sanctions in play, they've realized that depending on the dollar can be risky business. So, what are they doing about it? For starters, central banks in BRICS nations are ramping up their gold purchases. In 2023 alone, central banks globally bought over 400 tons of gold, the highest annual purchase since 1967. 
Russia is leading the charge, redirecting its gold exports to countries like China and India, which are eager to diversify their reserves. And it's not just gold. BRICS nations are also exploring alternative payment systems to facilitate trade without the dollar. The BRICS Bridge Initiative is one such effort aimed at establishing a framework for transactions in local currencies or gold. This shift is significant. It's not just about trading. It's about creating a new financial landscape that doesn't revolve around the dollar. As these nations band together, they're sending a clear message. They're ready to break free from dollar dominance. Let's chat about something that's been making waves lately. Geopolitical tensions. You know, with all the wars and conflicts popping up around the world, it's no surprise that more and more folks are turning to gold as their safety net. Take the ongoing situations in Ukraine and the Middle East, for example. They've really cranked up the anxiety levels, making people look for something solid to hold on to literally. And it's not just individual investors feeling the heat. Countries are also getting in on the action, diversifying their reserves like it's a new trend. With the dollar starting to feel a bit shaky, nations are leaning toward gold and other currencies. This isn't just a temporary phase, it's a major shift in how countries are thinking about their financial futures. The implications? Well, let's just say they're pretty significant, especially when it comes to the dollar's standing as the world's go-to currency. Now, what about the central banks? They're not just sitting back and watching the show unfold, they're actively boosting their gold reserves. It's like they're saying, hey, we need to be smart about this. And they're right. Especially among BRICS nations, the trend of stockpiling gold is on the rise. Why? Because it's a savvy move to protect against inflation and currency fluctuations. In 2023 alone, central banks globally scooped up a jaw-dropping 400 tons of gold. That's the highest annual purchase since 1967. Countries are waking up to the fact that diversifying their holdings is crucial in today's unpredictable economic landscape. The old-school reliance on the dollar is starting to feel a bit outdated, and this shift could shake things up in monetary policy and global finance. Looking ahead, emerging markets are becoming the hot new destination for investors. With the Federal Reserve hinting at possible interest rate cuts, it's like a neon sign for capital flows to head towards these regions. Investors are on the hunt for opportunities where they can benefit from a weaker dollar and lower interest rates. And let's not overlook gold mining stocks. They're experiencing a bit of a renaissance. The Vanek Gold Miners ETF, NYSE GDX, shot up nearly 25% in 2023, showcasing how profitable mining companies are becoming as gold prices climb. This trend highlights the strong connection between rising gold prices and the attractiveness of mining investments. Investors are eager to jump on this gold rush, and emerging markets are ready to reap the rewards. So, what's the crystal ball saying about the future of global currency dynamics? The de-dollarization trend isn't going away anytime soon. Analysts are predicting that BRICS nations will push for a new currency backed by gold or local currencies. Imagine a world where countries can trade without relying on the dollar. A BRICS-backed currency could make trading easier among member nations and offer a solid alternative for others. As more countries look to break free from the dollar's tight grip, the implications for the US dollar's status as the dominant global currency are huge. It's a game changer, and we're all watching to see how this unfolds. So, here's the deal. EU and US sanctions on Russia have set off some unexpected changes in the global economy. China and India are all about gold and new ways to trade, pushing the dollar aside. With gold prices soaring, we're seeing a big shift in how people invest, and it's shaking up the dollar's dominance. What do you think? Could we really be seeing the end of the US dollar's reign? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for today. Stay tuned for more, and catch you at the next one.